player. It is Mamari. In the bottom left corner, playing in the losers final, best of three. It is Dirty Bag. Now, Dirty Bag's had a rough, rough road getting here. Let's just have a look at this. Dirty Bag was in the winners bracket for a while, where he had to play versus uh, Wonkman and the Red Bat, and he beat both. And then he faced Beastie Cutie. He was knocked down to the losers bracket. Where he faced uh, Celos? No, he didn't. Where is he? There we go. He faced Goody and won. And then he beat Lalush. Wow. And now he's gonna. So he's been beating two pro gamers in a row, and now he's up against a third pro gamer after losing to Beast Security. So Dirty Bag is a force to be reckoned with in Starbo. Let's just put it that way. Absolutely. Dirty Bag, probably one of the best Starbo players who's been playing regularly for the last. Um, year oh. plus, year and a half, two years? How yeah, long? Yeah, two years, I think. Yeah, he played very experienced and a very, very good player. His, um... I don't know if I've ever seen Dirty Bag's Zerg... Nah, I've probably seen it here and there, but his Protoss is also very good. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely mains Terran, and his Terran is fantastic, but he can... He can beat a lot of the top players <laughs> with his Protoss as well. So yeah. these players spawning relatively close positions. Um is a nice expansion pattern here for the Terran player if he wants to expand towards Mamari, if he wants to try to take the fourth down here at the six o'clock eventually, as he slowly works works his way forward. Um, could be helpful, but then Mamari also has plenty of options. He can take these bases up here in the top right to be as far away from Dirty Bag uh, as possible when he goes to take his third and fourth. Spawning pool now coming down from Mamari, pool after hatch. Uh, Dirty Bag though, going for the uh, good old Beastie Cutie CC first on the high ground. Although, well, Beastie Cuties is on the low ground because Beastie Cuties balls are enormous. Yeah, no, this is Dirty Bag style. He always does this. This is how he beat the Red Bandit. And this is how he could eventually beat Mamori. Now, Mamori is not going for three hatches before a pool. Mm. Yeah. The second barracks coming up here for Dirty Bag. So we'll be able to macro out all those Marines because he doesn't want to bother with gas for a while. He just wants to get out enough Marines, stay safe, bunker up, get that expansion rolling, and then start working on the tech. See, the ma macro hatch has immediately come up for Mamari, so Mamari scouting that... Uh... Actually, he has scouted that, right? Yeah, I think so. No, hey. actually, he hasn't. He hasn't seen anything. <laughs> dirty Bag? No, Dirty Bag hasn't... Oh, no, they both oh. haven't seen anything, huh? Yeah, Mamari no. hasn't even bothered a drone scout. I mean... Wow, look at that. He's just like, you know what? I want another hatchery. Um, yeah, that has been retextured enough to change the test that I was looking at it right now, and, and that does look very pretty, uh, Avex, it does. Um, it, again, just not sure if we need it, but it looks very pretty. Alright, so, oh, the Dirty Mag is gonna, well, it's, no, it's not gonna see that much, he's gonna see the natural nets about it, but it did actually scout while Memori just doesn't care. Right. <laughs> and the Memori's gonna send the like, sensor zoomings out and just too. send them in various directions. Looks like he's checking in the top top left right now. If I'm Silverlord I'm will there. eventually make its way to the Terran Natural. By that time, Bunker will be finished. Uh, yeah, if these uh, well, even if these Lings were arriving at this Natural this time, I mean, yeah, there's enough Marines here to shoot it away. Big deal. Just looking to scout one of one of wants to find his opponent. Be interested to see what uh what uh, sort of tech route Amory chooses to go through, and it is a pretty quick Spire here. Or Spire. It's a quick, pretty quick layer, which could become a pretty quick spire. It's not as quick as last one because he did go for the macro hatch. Right, right, right. And it's I, think, not a, I think it's, it's like not crazy a, fast. I think he either goes for macro hatch or queen. That seems to be because now he's just dropping queen. No, oh, yeah, he's, he's getting both. queen now actually. I, I'm gonna, I'm Maybe just gonna eat more food and be quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna be so hungry by the time this is over, and I feel like you my can, wife is gonna be so you angry. Can, like, jump out for the finals. No, you can, like, at the beginning of a game or between, you can just jump out and grab something or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I did right before, we, right before this whole, whole thing started, so. We still got another series, then we got a best of seven. We're not going to be done till like, nine. My wife's going to be so pissed. Sorry, I should stop talking about it. <laughs> Engineering Bay coming up here for Dirty Bag. <laughs> uh, he's also working on Stim. All the usual stuff. The usual good Terran goodies. In the meantime, uh, layer is done here for Mamari. Oh, double tech lab. That's unusual. And just Going a bunch a of, of links coming out. Mamari not not getting the spire actually. Oh. And not getting hydrant either, just producing a buttload of okay, links. I think he spire. thinks he can get some damage done. Finally Again, it does come down. Actually a buttload of links from three hatches early on. 
I can do wonders versus Terrans who are not expecting it. I've actually tried that a couple of times and just completely wrecked people. Yeah, Dirty Bag doesn't versus. have any sort of supply depot wall up. He has no idea that this is coming. This could be really effective. You know, he's still getting his tech. It's just coming a little slower. He's getting both the Spire and the Hydra dead behind this. Um, yeah, this number of Lings with speed could do amazing amounts of damage. Oh, oh. no, there is the Fire Bat, though. That is going to make things a little bit difficult. And that Fire Bat has a nice little medic wall in front of him, too. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, this is very well positioned from Dirty Bag. Actually, it just looks like clumpy units, and maybe it just is, but it is randomly or intentionally very well positioned. Yeah. Memori is taking his third base, fourth hatchery, and, uh, oh, Hydrogen already complete, and now Spire's completing. That's a really early Hydrogen. I don't know why he did that. Yeah, he pretty much got him at the same time. Right after all the links, maybe he, he was made a Spire. Maybe he was mech? I don't know, since he hadn't re really scouted his opponent. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. So all these links produce not really going to accomplish a whole lot. I mean, he does have he can he can maintain some map control for a while and get some scouting done, uh, but it has put him behind a little bit economically. His tech's a little bit delayed. He's only got 30 drones compared to 38 SCVs, which is fine. I mean, TRB style of ZVT is a uh, is very low low drone count, so a Zerg can do just fine doing that. Uh, the scan does go down, so Dirty Bag does now know that that it third is on the way. I think I hmm. Look at this, look at this um, Muta prep yeah, that Dirty Bag made. Four really turrets weird, like... in the natural. Oh, he's canceling oh. the ones in the main though. He's got three over here in the main though, so he still has invested quite a bit into all yeah, of these he turrets. Really need, like, he, there's only a very few number of Mutas, and now he's just straight up making Hydras. Like he only... Oh, he's just gonna fly past? Oh, wow. Oh, these... the bluff. Ooh, look at that. those canceled turrets come back to bite him. All that turret investment, and the Mutas get in and do damage and deny a bunch of mining anyway, and ah, uh, Dirty Bag being a little bit n indecisive with the Marines. Now, he will go for the natural now. Uh, oh, there's a lot of links, though. Yes, all the links. Well, and this are, command are, center yeah. is going getting really weak. Wow. You may just pick out the command center, actually. Oh, find some uh, I think it's going to go down. He's going to lose the main command center. That means that and Dirty Bag has to deal a lot of damage. There are Lings here. There's the Fire Bat. Fire Bat doing a lot of damage. There are three Spines, though. Two Spines just finished just in time. Uh, but a lot of Marines here will still be able to get on top of these Spine Crawlers. Uh, needs the Medics, though, to support. In the meantime, here come the Mutas. Oh, the Mutas are going to go right on top of oh, all these turrets, though. A lot of Mutas are going to go down. Okay, so Dirty Bag just has to... Oh, four Lurkers now. This is no way he can break this. Nope. And I think Mamori just did this. I don't think Dirty Bag can come back from this. It's losing that command center is huge. Yeah, the loss of the command that center. Now and then Dirty Bag takes the game somewhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, fortunately, you know, he still has all of his SCVs, but this is so much mining time that he's losing here at the main. I mean, it's, it's 400 plus, well, it's 500 minerals and 50 gas that he lost in the actual OC itself. Yeah, and then, like, oh yeah, like you say, all the mining time. He has, like, 31 workers, and his natural is completely oversaturated, so he's he's losing m minerals, too. Yeah, looking at the income tab, it's 1,000 minerals a minute to 600-something for Dirty Bag. Yeah. And That's now, uh, but Dirty Bag might be able to get up. Oh, these lurkers will not finish quite in time. There's one oh, lurker here. There's the scan. It will get cleaned up. Uh, you can get on top of these lurkers, potentially. Needs another scan oh, to come down. Oh, I like how he just got right out of scan range. He needs another scan to do this. I don't know if he has it. And here we go. One very nice lurker shot. It's all these marines very low, but... Oh, he's going to try to just inch the lurker forward, but Dirty Bag is really good at targeting lurkers that are unburrowing. There we go. Oh, Back. and it does go down. Dirty Bag will be able to shut down this third. So both players are going to be losing a base. And it's going to stay relatively even here, actually. And I... I don't know. Dirty Bag might actually be ahead now. Once his uh this command center, yeah, he's getting it set back up. He's gonna start mining from it again, and it's two base to two base, which is always good for the Terran player. Yeah, Dirty Bag. Uh, really Hive is on the way now. Dirty Bag really need to get this base to get back into this game yeah, after he lost that was his critical. Lesson. And uh, he's yeah, Dirty Bag is doing just fine. Look at the wow <laughs> again. The APM and Memorius is insane, but Dirty Bag is is you know keeping Memory on us. Yeah, look at all these bunkers at the front. This isn't getting broken anytime soon. Nope. Monterey knows that. He's going to have to... He needs a have to back ton up and expand, of really. He needs to drop a hatchery it. somewhere soon. Okay, he does have a drone coming out here. Where will he choose to take it? Middle base, it seems. Oh! Well, he's gonna, yep. Yeah, I like this. Picking off this group. He knows this group is here. Oh, the group is going to just go as far up as possible. Just try and stall this. Yeah, put the, put the medics at the front. Really nice positioning there. Yeah, he doesn't even want to... Put wanna... those guys on hold position. 
doesn't even even want to take that engagement because it's not going to be cost efficient whatsoever. Right. So this is really. Oh, he's throwing out a bunker up here. <laughs> Dirtbag's wow. like, you know what? I'm just going to take the bot top right base myself, actually. Yeah, he might actually expand there. Right. That would be insane. <laughs> Call down all his SUVs over there. He'd be like, so, okay, he's not gonna go for this. I might as well just keep these units here. Right. They're more effective defending a base than they are just chilling out in the middle of the map for no good reason. Then again, they could always swing down and try to pick off this uh, base over here at the 3 o'clock. Oh, Mamre Wolf, catch this uh, SCV going out to try to expand or scout or something. Uh, maybe not, actually. He didn't see it. <laughs> so Overlord here is still having a nice, good scouting position here for Mamre, keeping an eye on Dirty Back's front. So, Dirty Bag, I was going to say, he's not trying to expand in Dustin, but he made you, you know, like you said, just take this expansion from that Colon SCV. This is hilarious. Yeah. Top left. <laughs> that would be great. No, top right, even, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, but top top left is funny. They're both, like, scouting oh, out or something. There's an SCV and a Zergling just chilling there, hanging out. Very awkward. Being friends. <laughs> so, we shouldn't fight, right? Because, yeah. <laughs> Truce? This is a, a very weird, uh, we're very... Well, still a better love story than Twilight, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> uh, here comes a worker transfer. So Mamri will be getting up his third and establishing that and getting that saturated up here. So he will have a bit of an income jump here soon. In the meantime, turret is... and bunker and all up here in the top right. So but Mamori is like... ahead in supply of his Terran opponent, which is a good thing for Mamori. And he's yeah. actually taking to Hive. So although his economy isn't super good, his tech is just really solid. And Dirty Bag is moving out with a force that's not too scary, to be honest. Compared yeah. to what? What Memoria? Wow! If he, could, if he could get the rest of his uh, army in the top right joined up with this army, I mean, that would help a lot. It's a lot of his medics are tied up over here. I mean, he's got five medics. You had five medics to this ball, and it looks a lot scarier. Yeah. And like and here comes Mamri out to meet him. A yeah, lot of those. This is such a strong force from Memoria. Is it? Tank siege yeah. up! Oh, but doesn't it's not gonna be enough. Dark Swarm. He has Dark Swarm, but he doesn't even need it. Like, look at that. That's a, such a strong force. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way Dirty Bag is ahead in this game right now. Yeah, Dirty Bag though does take the top right force and looks like he can, he will try to swing down and do some damage here at the three o'clock. Could be a good way to get him back in, self back into this game. But here come the lurkers, gonna go for the surround here. They will get on top of these marines, They're getting all over the place. Defilers, dark swarming here at the front. More oh, dark swarm wow. going down on the bunkers. There's nothing else here. There are no siege tanks with oh, siege mode. Just like a few science vessels. Getting that that early dark swarm right in the natural right off the bat is just like. Almost impossible versus a good Terran. When you can do that, it's so little Terran can do about this. This yeah. is incredible. Meantime, Dirty Bag is harassing at the front, but oh, it's just medics left. All the Marines go down. And the Defilers and the Lurkers are in the main. Deny the natural. The Wind SCPs are cool. walking over the side. Yeah, this is it. That's it. Mamari gonna be taking game number one. Dirty Bag GG's. EJ. Mamori can win versus Terran. Well, he's already beat BCQD once, but there we go. That was a pretty cool game. That was pretty cool. So we're going to have 